Lesson 9.6, Estimate Lengths in Meters. We can estimate the lengths of objects in meters by thinking about the length of a meter and imagining how many we would need to match the length of the object. We think of placing many meter sticks end to end to estimate lengths in meters. So if this is about one meter, we can imagine putting one here and another one here and another one here and another one here. So it would be four meter sticks to match the length of this car. A meter stick is one meter long and one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. About how many meter sticks will match the width of a real door? Can you imagine how many meter sticks would match the width? If you said about one, you're right. It might not even be a full meter stick. The meter stick might be a little wider than the door. But this is just an estimate, so it's not exact. So here is my meter stick. You can see it's 100 centimeters. Each little mark here is a centimeter. So this little green length is one centimeter. This meter stick is 100 centimeters. You can compare it to 12 inches, which is equal to one foot. And you can see how small a centimeter is and how long a meter is. Estimate the length of a real bed. How long do you think a real bed is from here where you put your pillow way down to the bottom? Do you think it's one meter, two meters, three meters? If you said about two meters, you're right. We could put about two meter sticks and that would be about the length of a real bed. So I want you to remember this, how little a centimeter is, how long a meter is compared to 12 inches, which is one foot. And let's see if we can answer the next question. Estimate the length of a real adult cow, fill in the bubble next to all the sentences that are true. So here's a real adult cow. Here's a grown man standing next to the cow to give you an idea of the size of a grown man compared to a real cow. So do you think a real cow is less than one meter long? Do you think its length is less than one meter? I think a real cow is more than one meter. Do you think a real cow is less than 10 meters long? Can you remember the meter stick that I showed you? Do you think a real cow is less than 10 of those meter sticks? If you said yes, you're right. 10 meters is very, very long. So we filled in the bubble because that's true. A real cow is less than 10 meters long. How about a real cow is more than 30 centimeters long? Do you remember how long a centimeter is? Do you think a real cow is more than 30 centimeters? If you said yes, you're right. Centimeters are very short. So a real cow is definitely more than 30 centimeters long. What about a real cow is more than five meters long? Do you remember my long yellow meter stick? Do you think a real cow is more than five of those? If you said no, you're right. That would be a very, very long cow. So a real cow is less than 10 meters and it's more than 30 centimeters long. So you can see each end of my dry erase board. Here's the left side and here's the right side. My dry erase board is a little more than two meters wide from 
this side to this side. So that'll give you a rough idea of two meters. This is one meter. We could fit another one here and we'd have a little bit more. So it'd be a little bit more than two meters. In our next lesson, 9.7, we're going to measure in centimeters and compare lengths of objects that we measure their length and then we compare their measurement in centimeters to each other. I hope you have a really good day. I hope to see you next time. Bye.